Hello. Okay. Here's a question under a lecture of ethics. Ethics. Okay. Now for myself, atheist and liberty. So I'm aligned with libertarianism. Nearly all of it. There's the question. Is it possible to uphold what are considered traditional values and be a libertarian and an atheist? Atheist, libertarian at that. A libertine? All freedoms? All liberty? Every thought on pursuit of life within the bounds of not harming another person? I say yeah. Okay. Alright, I changed my spot a little bit here. A little bit more privacy. Okay. So, traditional values. The nuclear family. Man. Wife. Children. Men are dominant. <clears throat> Women are submissive. Not in the sense of a doormat. You know, I've had relationships. And they say, well, you know, I get that. So, it's more like the man is captain. And then the, uh, you have the navigator. But we're very good at that, right? So, it's that kind of relationship. Is that upheld by thousands of years of debate? <laughs> well, it sure is. It sure is. Uh, now... The idea is, can uh, people come along and just debunk that? Well, they sure could. But have they? Well, no, they have not. Um, mostly it's people screaming, acting like buffoons, and sort of like flailing around like apes. You know, that's interesting. So, is that the idea of feminism? To uh, debunk um, the traditional role? Of man and wife in uh, in matrimony, yes, because you have special uh, privileges. You know, you don't have to squeal on each other in court. That's a big, big deal. You know, so <clears throat> um, and you know, we get special tax breaks, and you have the sanctity. It is a sanctified idea. It really is. You know, marriage. Um, does it matter if it's on paper? You know, barring special circumstances, I think, I, I'm sure it is. It, it, you know, must be. Uh, because uh, <clears throat> we have um, standards in society. And do we have to abide by those standards? Well, no, we, we, you know, we don't have to abide by the standards. You know, we don't have to say uh, every man and woman must be married. You can cohabitate in a lovely, lovely place <laughs> inside your home, in your domicile, self-rule, right, and not be married. Two sovereign beings, not married. <clears throat> they don't choose to be married because it's not apropos at that time. That is true. Okay, but then, you know, there's this idea, you know, of matriculation. Two people are binding together. The piece of paper is important in that idea, you know. I've been in some deep relationships, and um, at that time, I would have rather been married to that person on paper. It just makes sense in in a very mature thought process in life, you know. I guess it's just a matter of maturity. You know, people aren't mature enough to understand that point. So we go back to what some of the conservatives are saying about traditional, what is a traditional man and woman? Really, if you think about it, it's femme or Vilma, Wilma, and man, uh, man, yeah, uh, or Danny Boy, or Peter, or John, or Jake, or Derek. You start using words like that, pronouns, and it becomes apparent that there's a Men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Yeah, okay. It's Adam and Eve. 
Adam is a big idea in manhood. <laughs> and so uh, Eve is a, also a big idea in femininity. Um, spiritual people that spent their lives uh, looking into things like that get it. You know, just because you don't get it, that doesn't mean it's true. It doesn't mean it's part of reality. Just because you don't get it and then you wish to deny it, doesn't mean it's not true. Right. Okay. So, the self ruled man and the self ruled femme, you know, get together. You know, tr transgender has been debunked by science. You know, no such thing. You can't simply have. $150,000 worth of sex change operations and then become a woman, have a woman's brain. They've proven that it's not, uh, excuse me. Okay, so, you know, transgenderism has been uh, debunked. You know, being a woman or femme is not a matter of just someone. Hands people. Uh, someone telling you that you have to be that way. Uh, they've proven little babies, you know, that are just born, even in the womb, especially girls. <laughs> girls get their own femininity immediately. So, yeah, in the womb, expressing femininity, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, there's nobody uh, with a megaphone <laughs> or a stethoscope or whatever it is, you know, trying to yell at children through a woman's uh, womb <laughs> to a little girl telling her she should act a certain way. Duh. That is stupid. You people are idiots. <laughs> Jackasses. And it's just, there's like, there's like a list of 50 words that apply to <laughs> these people. And they're all bad. You know, so, okay. Uh, same with the little boy, you know. <laughs> little boys like f f fire trucks. I like fire trucks when I was a little boy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I wasn't playing with dolls. I was, like, trying to destroy shit, you know. <laughs> wow. Imagine that, you know. Pretty, rather bright individual. So I was a little boy, you know, with a hammer trying to bang a square peg into a round hole <laughs> on purpose just to say I could do it <laughs> wow imagine that you know uh, army men no one told me anything about that you know me and my brothers were like yeah fuck yeah you know we get a whole thing of army men you know no one said a word so these people are total screw offs you know, trying to screw off humanity just for the notion of power, you know. They have the desire, so they need the power to fill that desire. It's not will to power. That is a, that's bullshit. You know, it is power first, and then impressing their will and desire upon people. Blech. Revolting. Vomitous. Yeah, so, yeah, this is a very forceful message, and I don't give a shit. I don't even care if they try to uh, delete this message. Uh, so, uh, we see all the way back, you know, it's been, I'm not going to include abortion in this argument. But yeah, from the get go, Adam and Eve, from the get go, traditional families, <clears throat> from the get go, uh, people say, hey, wait a minute. That homosexuality just doesn't seem right. I don't know exactly what it is, but something just says in my brain, my man brain, or femme brain, hey, wait a minute, that doesn't jive with reality. Why would billions of people say that and say the same thing? They're all brainwashed? Please. Whatever. You people need to get over yourselves and get over your evil. Damn. So, here's an idea. <laughs> Why don't you fucking deplatform billions of people off Facebook for all thinking the same thing? Maybe you could just have a liberal community on your Facebook. That's what you should have. 
you know, fuck it. Just have a bunch of fucking fucktard, libtard idiots uh, telling each other uh, how they should jack off, you know. That's stupid. You know. But that's what, eventually, that's what you'll get. Because reasonable people will walk away from rationale. They'll say, well, that's just rationalization, you know. Uh, we understand where that's coming from, but that's not really how life works, you know. You really have to apply logic in life, don't you? Don't you? Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, <clears throat> traditional values are upheld by science. As an atheist, that's what I'm concerned with. There's science behind men and women or their own planet. Those planets don't mix. And they form nuclear families and foster children that way with a good example of a man and a wife. You have the captain, you have the navigator. And then the children learn from that. And then they compare other adults to those adults, their parents. Because they're taught to be honest. And not to be rational idiots. Imagine all these people having children that really think that way. They're raising their children backwards. And now we as a civilization are all going to pay for it. Because you have millions of backwards people walking around destroying <laughs> everything they touch. Just like the government tries to destroy everything it touches. Well, it doesn't try to exactly. Sometimes. But the idea is the socialist brain thinks it has to make a rule for everything and be a nanny, right? They have to tell everybody what to do. And then they prop themselves up as little kings and queens and fiefdoms and then spread their ilk. And then, unfortunately, not everybody buys it, but there's a lot of people that would. You know, so we don't have to be a nanny state to tell those people okay, hey, man, you shouldn't do it. We just show the examples in history and point out and be very vocal in media and show these people, hey, man, <clears throat> here it is. We're going to lay it all out for you. Easy to understand. So everybody gets it. Everybody's going to be on the same page. So when... Uh... All right, so you have the layout, okay? All examples... Even show video of Venezuela, that was a socialist. That's what the socialists did. That's what the socialists in, in America are denying. Because <laughs> it's very obvious, right? It all comes full circle. The socialized brain, the psychosocial brain, you know, turning into a psychopath. <laughs> and uh, ruining people. Ruining themselves, ruining people. Ruining the government, ruining civilization. Even trying to wreck reality. Interesting, you can't wreck reality, but you can certainly try. Anyways, thank you.